Hi and welcome to our video series in which we are looking at the new features of Grasshopper within the new and shipping version of Rhino 6. You will see a list of the features we are going to explore here. And in this short video, we are going to look at Flow. So, of course, like we can get it either by typing Flow or going from Transform, uh, Morph and then Flow. So um, actually, it's a straightforward command and it's quite helpful. Um, so if we if we read um, the introduction of it, which is realigned objects from a base curve to a target curve, uh, we've got a few inputs here. Again, we need the geometry, the base curve, the targeted curves that we want to realign the original geometry to, um, and a few toggles that are going to help us um, manipulate the process. Um, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to first First, I'm going to create a geometry, uh, let's say um, a pyramid, and then it's going to be like that. And then I want to create, I want this to project this pyramid on its new targeted curve. So, first, I have to create an original curve um, to basically determine the relation between the, the, this geometry and that curve um, in order to project to a new curve on that basis. Um, so I'm going to create um, now, so if I'm just to get the center of this, I'm going to just draw a quick curve and then I'm just going to get this one here all the way to the top. So I'm going to make um, a geometry component here and a curve component and another curve component so basically the curve is going for the base and the target and the geometry going there so I have to create also um, a target um, curve um, which you know can be depends on what you want to work on but this is quite a simple straightforward example um, so I'm just going to align now each to its component. So this is I'm saying the original, the geometry, original curve, <coughs> and targeted curve. So now when I set this, you will see what's going to happen. Um, so basically, this is my geometry. I'm going to hide um, this guy. This is my original um, shape in relation to this one, and I'm trying to project this con kind of relationship into this new one by uh, projecting this from the beginning to the end to this from the beginning till the end uh, t for the geometry to take the new shape. So um, when I look at this, there is actually a room of manipulation for how we actually apply this um, component. Uh, so if I read now the few um, inputs that are left, so we have reverse base, reverse target, stretch and rigid. Um, so I'm going to create toggles, boolean toggles for each of those. Um, so I'm just going to create a toggle, copy it four times, just want me to see a bit, and connect it. So once I have those connected like that, I can now analyze them and see what suits me best. Um, so for reverse base, um, it's basically, it's, it's got the explanation saying if true, then the direction of the base curve is reversed. So at the moment, um, this curve, if we are to look, um, this curve, it, let's say it's, it's starting from here. So if I am to reverse it, is going to reverse the base, um, <coughs> the base curve, uh, as if like this base curve has been flipped. Let's say, so if I have this on false, and then I'm flipping my curve here, same thing is going to happen. So basically, this toggle is helping me do that just with, with a click, if that's what I wanted. Uh, the second one's reverse target. So instead of reversing the original curve, we're going to reverse the targeted curve. 
and that is going to flip this geometry the other way around because it's been reversed and the third one is stretch so this actually determines whether you want to project this geometry on the whole curve just from the beginning till the end so it's going to stretch this geometry like that from the beginning till the end or um, if not if it was on false it's going to keep uh, the dimensions the way they are it's just projected on the same length the original length and finally <coughs> rigid which is just like the other commands that we've been talking about um, rigid to some extent does the same which is keeping the geometry the way it, w it is but projecting it on the um, actual location so if I am to stretch with rigidity I can see it's also it's not affecting it but it's put it in the center because it's just stretching it hypothetically but uh, position wise but it's not stretched um, geometrically um, so you can basically choose whatever suits you from those uh, inputs uh, it's quite a helpful straightforward command I hope this was helpful as well and thank you